Well, well, my old and dear friend Mitchell. Hello, Ratka. Do come in. My, but it has been a long time. Four years ago in Istanbul. Yes, of course, a most pleasant memory. Not for me. If I remember right, I came off second best. But I'm glad to see that you are feeling more civil tonight. What do you mean? Well, when I passed you on the street this noon and spoke to you, you would not even turn around. You didn't pass me on the street this noon. I didn't get in until afternoon. Oh, but I could swear it was you that I saw. Uh, won't you sit down, Mitchell? You know, this story of some guy impersonating me, if it only came from you, I wouldn't believe it. But the dead man said the same thing. The dead man? Vittorio Fabri. He was killed at approximately 3.20 this afternoon. Or maybe that isn't news to you. <laughs> of course not. I killed him. You? Give me that again. And to be sure, I'll explain to you exactly how it happened. You see, it was an affair of honor. He insulted a young lady friend of my acquaintance. So I slapped his face with my gloves and demanded immediate satisfaction. Now look, funny boy. Oh, but I assure you, this is all very serious. So, we agreed to a duel without seconds. It was quite a match, but evidently my skill was too much for him. So, you see, I ran him through. Oh, it was horrible. I was covered with remorse. You better take it easy. You know, when I was in public school 22, I was mumble peg champion. Touche. You're a real cute kid now, Ratka. But the point is, I think maybe you could have killed Fabry. But haven't I just got through telling you? I did. The duel. A duel with shotguns at close range, maybe. But I have even supplied you with a motive. It was an affair of honor. Yeah. I was thinking of another motive. You see, Fabry was all set to spill about the Trigo killing of a couple of weeks ago. Now, maybe these two killings could have something to do with each other. I guess I must confess to Trigo's killing also. Did you bring the handcuffs with you, Mitchell? I stand in awe before the brilliance of your deduction. There'll be time enough for the handcuffs when I get some evidence. Ah, yes, evidence. That is something else again. So we're going to quit playing games, huh? Okay. I understand you were at the theater this afternoon. True. Very mediocre performance, incidentally. What time did you arrive? At three. You took a young lady named uh, Marie Picard? Such a lovely creature. Then you were at the theater after three o'clock all afternoon? Yes. Oh, this poses something of a stumbling block to you, I imagine. Yeah, it's a pretty convenient alibi. Maybe I better have a talk with this Miss Picard. Yes, she should be at her house at this time. Uh, 214 Via Rienzi. I know the address. I was there this afternoon talking to Fabri, remember? I am completely at your disposal. I still think you're my boy. I'm going to bust my back to prove it. All the very best of luck to you, Mitchell. Hello, Marie. This is Armin. You are about to have a visitor. Yes, Steve Mitchell. He's going to ask you some questions about this afternoon. What? Tell him the truth, of course. Goodbye. I'm a well, well, well. I'm happy to see you back so soon. Yeah. I'll bet you are. And how have you been doing? Lousy. Tried every way I could to break down your alibi, but no soap. But don't you see how everything turns out for the best? If I were to tell you that I was innocent, you would not believe me. But this way, finding out for yourself... I still don't believe you. Dear, dear, do you wish me to confess all over again? Excuse me, please. Uh, 
Hello. No, I do not want you to come to my room. I'm not interested in purchasing a new automobile. These salesmen, such a boy, so persistent. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll be running along, Ratka. It's too bad you had to come off second best again, Mitchell. Yeah. You've won another round, but you know something? It only takes one punch to score a knockout. One of these days, I'm going to find that punch. Desk. The man that just called me from the lobby, has he gone? He has left. Thank you. I think he... Maybe Lieutenant Umberto will. Let's go. Stay where you are. Don't move. Drop it. So, Ratka, you are my boy after all, eh? Well, that's a quaint way of putting it. The whole deal fell into place the minute I saw your stooge. You played it pretty sharp, Ratka. You killed the real Fabry, then headed for the theater. True. I got the Fabry's about 3.15. Your stooge put on his act and gave me that phony story about the real Steve Mitchell, just to throw me off the track when he wouldn't give me the information I came for. And when I left, he pulled out that dead man's foot, blasted his face off and beat it. And I fell for the whole deal. Well, Mitchell, looks like you come out second best again, huh? Right, Why don't you get rid of him? With a great deal of pleasure. <laughs>